Good morning. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Thomas, and I'm the founder and owner of Baptiste Power Yoga Phoenix. Hey, Brittany, good morning. Good morning. How Gosh. are you? Ah, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Phoenix. Yeah, same here. You can see I'm on my front porch. Yeah, so thank you for coming around. Uh, Brittany, the mic is yours. I'll let you introduce yourself and um, tell everyone who you are. Great. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Brittany Hopkins. I'm the owner of Container Collective Yoga here in Lakewood, Colorado, just west of Denver. Um, Container Collective actually we just celebrated our seventh anniversary um, in this last week. So it's incredible. Um, I'm actually teaching from my front porch because there's a class happening at the studio right now. Um, and I'm so excited to guide you all through a 30 minute journey into power practice with an emphasis on foundation. So whatever's touching the mat is what we're gonna really be emphasizing as you move your bodies this morning. So I'll have you get started in child's pose. All right, land right here. Notice how your body is feeling physically. Notice how your body is feeling mentally, emotionally. And start to come into the awareness of your hands and feet and knees into the mat. And whatever's touching the mat, gently press down to create a little bit of a lift up. And bring your awareness to your breath. Start to deepen your inhales and exhales. Take one more breath cycle in and out here as you exhale, ground your hips towards your heels. And then on your next inhale, come up through tabletop, exhale to downward facing dog. Set your focus to a spot towards the back edge of your mat or even on the wall behind you. And again, bring your awareness to your hands and feet. Press down through the base of the pointer finger and thumbs. As well as try this on, put a generous bend in your knees and try to lift your toes away from the mat to send your sit bones up towards the ceiling as well. Take one more big breath in here. Breathe out. Lift your heels, look to the front of your mat and step or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Ragdoll, have your feet hip distance apart, if not wider. Yeah, I love the bend in the knees there, Brian. Lift and spread your toes here. Yeah, take any movement you need and take that movement from an awareness of your feet into the mat. You can look to the tip of your nose as you take one more big breath in. And big breath out. Release your hands. You have the option to bring your big toes to touch, heel slightly parted, and roll up to extended mountain pose. A big stretch with your arms overhead. And draw hands into heart center. Exhale. Set your gaze where your middle fingertips connect. And again, lift and spread your toes. And set an intention for your practice. What is one word that you are committed to creating and also allowing for in your practice today? And we'll open together with the sound of universal consciousness, OM, one time. Ah, oh, OM, inhale. Ah. Uh... Inhale here. As you exhale, release your hands by your side, stand tall. From the ground, root down, reach up, extended mountain pose, breathe in. Bow forward on your exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, focus your eyes to one spot. High plank, breathe out, hold the high plank. Set your focus to one spot out in front of your mat. Get aware of your hands and feet, press down to create a lift up through the core. Shift your weight forward on your inhale. Go low plank on the exhale. Inhale through up dog, pause in the up dog. Press your hands and feet into the mat. Draw the shoulders back. Downward facing dog on your exhale. To build a little heat, I'll flow you through high to low plank, up dog, down dog a couple of times. And reminder, this is your practice. So you move at the pace and speed that you need to. I'm just here playing Simon Says. <laughs> High plank on your inhale. Focus your eyes. Go low plank as you exhale. Press down to come upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. One clearing breath in here. Empty out. Ah. 
high plank on your inhale, focus your eyes. Low plank on the exhale. Upward dog, inhale, feel your feet into the floor. Downward facing dog on the exhale. We'll do one more of those. Breathe in through the nose. Empty out. High plank on your breath in. Focus your eyes. Low plank. Breathe out. Upward dog. Focus your eyes to a new spot. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Come into the experience of this moment. Feel all 10 fingertips into the mat. Press your feet down into the mat to send your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Lift your heels, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step or jump there. Halfway lift on your inhale. Fold on the exhale. Press down to rise up, extended mountain pose, breathe in. Chair pose, breathe out, sit low, thunderbolt. Lift and spread your toes. Press the base of the big toes and the center of each heel down as you sit two to 12 inches lower. <laughs> Good morning, deep breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in, focus your eyes. High to low plank, feel your hands and feet into the mat. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Right foot forward, warrior one. Deep breath. Lift and spread your toes. Now lift the inner arch of your back foot away from the mat as you lunge two inches deeper into the front knee. Pull the sides of the body up, breathe in, reach up. High to low plank as you breathe out. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Other foot forward, warrior one. Focus your eyes straight ahead to one spot as you also are aware of the foundation of the pose. Lift and spread your toes. Lift the front of the pelvis up towards the belly button. Pit a belly to spine. Inhale, reach up. High to low plank, breathe out. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This part of the practice is called awakening. So hopefully your body's <laughs> starting to wake up. If not, if it's not already, let's flow a little more quickly. We'll do two sun bees, one breath per move. Reminder, you listen to your body, honor what it needs. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, step or jump in front of the mat. Flat back, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose for one breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, focus the eyes. High to low plank, keep your focal point. Upward dog, new place to see. Downward dog, right foot forward, warrior one, breathe in. High to low plank as you empty the lungs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, left foot forward, warrior one, breathe in. High to low plank, breathe out. Feel your hands and feet into the mat. Upward facing dog as you breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Lift your heels, look forward, breathe in. Step or jump in the empty of the lungs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose, one breath in. Forward fold, empty. Flat back, inhale. High to low plank, exhale. Press the hands down, upward facing dog. Downward dog, right foot forward, warrior one. Root your heels into the mat, reach up. High to low plank, breathe out. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, other foot forward, left foot warrior one. Breathe in. <laughs> High to low plank, breathe out. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Oh. Notice, notice how you're feeling right here. Experience the beat of your heart and your breath. Move into vitality. Crescent lunge, right foot forward. Lift the front of the pelvis up towards the belly button. Yeah, hug leg muscle to bones and the legs. Pull the sides of the body up, breathe in. On the exhale, twist to the left. Revolve crescent lunge or twist whatever direction you're in. Yeah. Yeah, you're mirrored or something, Brian. Yep. Pull pet of belly to spine and draw the shoulders straight back on the exhale. Take your gaze 13 inches further to the left to deepen the twist. On your next inhale, flow through crescent lunge. On the exhale, open up to warrior two. Yes. Feel your feet into the mat. Lift and spread your toes. 
From there, pull the thigh bones into the pelvis as you lunge deeper into the front knee. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior breathe. And take a huge stretch back. Go back, back, back. Ah. High to low plank exhale. That's it. Upward dog. Hug leg muscles to bones. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Big breath in. Empty out. Left oh. foot forward. Crescent lunge. Put your attention on your feet. Drive the front heel down to pull the hip back. Yes. Inhale, lift up. Revolve, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Press the, uh, let's see, the right hip up towards the ceiling to pull the left shoulder back. Mm. Yeah. And then look further to the left. Crescent lunge, breathe in, question mark. Open the <laughs> warrior two, exhale. All right, wake the toes up away from the mat. Press the heels down to pull the thigh bones into the pelvis. Lunge deeper into the front knee. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, breathe in. Hide a little plank, breathe out. Inhale, up dog, focus your eyes. Downward dog, exhale. Deep oh. breath in, deep breath out. Lift uh. your heels, look forward on the exhale, step or jump. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, ta-da, sana. <laughs> Eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Eagle pose, so we're in equanimity now. So maybe we've caused this storm with the body and the awakening and vitality. And now we create some ease amidst the effort. Take one more breath in. Sit two inches lower, breathe out. Flow through Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, eagle, left leg over, left arm under. Focus your eyes straight out in front of you. Ground the standing heel down into the mat. Pull the outer shins in towards center. Extended mountain pose, breathe in. Eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Soften your jaw and continue to breathe deeply. Pull the shoulders straight back and switch sides. Last eagle. Put your attention on your supporting foot, the one that's into the floor. Wiggles and wobbles are perfect. That means the wires are connected from the brain all the way to the toes. Deep breath in. Pull in to go lower. Extended mountain pose. Breathe in. Tree, right foot up. See one thing straight ahead. Press your bottom foot down into the mat to create a lift of the front of the pelvis up. You get one more breath cycle here. Take your gaze to a new spot to expand and switch sides. Tree, left foot up. Yeah, so much when life gets challenging, we tend to like or I do, I tend to float up and out when it's like, oh, get grounded, feel the foot into the floor. From the floor, lift up. On your next breath in, extended mountain pose. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. High to low plank, exhale. Feel your hands and feet into the mat as you go upward facing dog, especially the shoelace part of the feet, feel that. Downward facing dog. Triangle pose, right foot forward. Moving into grounding experience. This pose for a nice wide, long stance. Yeah, a nice adjustment. Lift and spread your toes. With a slight bend in both knees, squeeze the legs in towards midline. Pull belly button into spine. See your top thumb, breathe in. Go one inch further, breathe out. Rise up, star pose, breathe in. Into pyramid pose, face the front of your mat.
press your back heel towards the mat. Pull the shoulder straight back. So expand the chest. Take your focus to a spot that's going to cause you to go deeper into the pose. Yeah, deep breath in. Deep breath out. High plank on your next breath in. Low plank, breathe out. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, exhale. Triangle, left foot forward. Steady your breath even as you move into and through the pose. While you see one spot either on the wall or the ceiling, so you have your external attention, drishti, have your internal attention, drishti, on the, what's happening inside your body. Experience your breath. Lift and spread your toes to create the foundation. Mm -hmm. Pull the legs in towards midline. Take one more breath in. Breathe out. Flow with your breath. Rise up to star pose on your inhale. Pyramid pose on the exhale. Face the front. Take another breath in. Full deep breathe out. See what happens in the pose when you lift and spread your toes here. Yeah, create all four corners of your feet into the mat. So it's going to feel different in the front foot than it does in the back foot. See what you're looking at to go deeper. Draw your body towards your focal point. On your next inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Woo, breathe out. <laughs> up next is igniting. So if you're not already on fire, we'll make it happen. Here, lift your heels, look forward. Step or jump your feet through your hands. Come onto your back for bridge pose. See if you can align your heels behind your second and third toes. Mm -hmm. Lift and spread. Lower your hips down one inch and then tuck the tailbone up towards the ceiling, pit of belly to spine, then re-lift the tailbone up, yeah. Press the shoulder blades into the body. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Empty out. You're welcome to stay here or come into wheel pose or wheel prep. Plant your hands alongside your shoulders a little bit out towards the edge of the mat. Press your hands and feet down to lift the hips up. Yeah. Focus the eyes and breathe. Only go as far into the pose as you can breathe on purpose for five, four, three, two, Slowly come down. You get one more back bend and igniting to light up the whole back of your body. Experience your hands and feet. Plant, you got it, you got it. Push down to go up. Last one. Ground the heels down, ground the hands down. One more breath in. Lengthen the spine on the breath out. Slowly come down. And knock your knees in towards center for just one breath in. Oh. One breath out. A little bit of core. Yogi bicycle sit-ups. Yogi bicycle sit-ups. Bring <laughs> opposite elbow to opposite knee for 30 seconds. Ready or not, go. <laughs> Feel the foundation of this pose. So get both sides of the low back and the back of the pelvis down. You got 15 more seconds. Breathe on purpose. Put the hit of belly to spine for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Get even on both sides and hug your knees in. Good work. <laughs> Supine figure four for opening. Bring the right ankle across the left thigh. You're welcome. If you feel plenty stretch here, you can leave the foot on the floor or grab onto the back of the leg to pull the knee in closer. Hmm. You can either have your focus, your drishti up on the ceiling or on the back of the middle of your forehead here. And tune into your breath. See if you can slow the inhales and exhales down. Fifteen more seconds here. 
experience what's touching the floor, the foundation of this pose is your back and the back of the head. And as you breathe with purpose, switch to the other leg across, supine figure four. Open the hips. Just gently pull the toes towards the kneecaps. See how slowly you can breathe while you focus your eyes to one spot internally or externally. About 15 more seconds here. Soften your jaw. And create a little length on your inhales, a little depth on the exhale. Release from the pose and it's the next section. Extend the right leg up in the air for a hamstring stretch. You can grab onto the back of the thigh. Yeah, welcome to extend the right leg long on the mat or left leg long on the mat. <laughs> Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Leave your hands where they are on your leg and try this. Pull the shoulders up towards the ears. Breathe in and pull the shoulders straight back. Breathe out. Yeah, one more breath in. Breathe out and switch to the other leg in the air. Get curious with the breath here. See how slowly you can breathe. And if your eyes are open, see one spot on the ceiling. If they're closed, look either towards the tip of the nose or the middle of the forehead. And then leave your hands where they are. Try the shoulder thing on, shrug the shoulders on the inhale. Pull the shoulders straight back on the exhale. One more breath cycle. Hug the knees into the chest. A little inversion time for, for rejuvenation. You could do waterfall pose if you want to rest your hips on a block, take shoulder stand, headstand. You get 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Get present to what's touching the floor. You can press into the back of the head to slide the shoulder blades closer to the spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. A reminder that the physical practice, the asana practice, is just one component of yoga. And really the invitation is to bring all this off the mat with you. So how I use the awareness of the physical foundation of the pose in, the, in my everyday life is with my three-year-old um, little boy who's very active and has big emotions. And it's tempting for me to like jump in the mud with him with big emotions. And <laughs> I mean, just last night at bedtime, it was like, oh, what do I need to do here? How can I use my tools? And I was like, oh, feel my feet into the floor. Breathe on purpose. I actually started doing ujjayi breath as mm -hmm. he was quailing about and then it allowed me to be grounded amidst the challenging situation. Come down into a final twist. If you want to bump your hips over to one side and let the knees fall to the other. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out and switch to the other side of the twist. Final few moments to be on purpose here. Feel what's contacting the floor and from the floor, allow yourself to go a little deeper. Get one more breath cycle here. Gently pull the pit of the belly into the spine. And back to center for either a Supta Baddha Konasana or a happy baby. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, clear it out. <sighs> Two more of those, inhale. Empty out. <sighs> Last one, breathe in. Empty out. <sighs> Shavasana, final relaxation. 
I always tell my community members at home, if you want to dim the lights or put a blanket on or cover your eyes, you're welcome to. Do one more physical adjustment. Press the back of your head into the mat to slide your shoulder blades in towards your spine. Yeah, and then release. You have about two minutes here to feel the support of the earth that's always beneath you. And if thoughts come up, let them come up and then let them go and come to the space between your thoughts and I'll bring you out when the time is right. Gently bring your awareness back to your breath. Invite movement to your fingers and toes. And as you're ready, no rush, you'll roll over to either side into a fetal position. Take a moment here to acknowledge yourself. You carve the time out of your day to Move your body, mind, and spirit intentionally. And that's a big deal. Yeah, by you showing up for yourself in this way, it really does make this world a better place. As you're ready, come up to a seated position. You can touch your palms together at the center of your chest, Anjali Mudra. Let your thumbs rest against your sternum. See if you can feel your heartbeat. And we'll close together with one big ohm. Deep breath in. Ah. Bring your thumbs to touch the middle of your forehead. May all beings everywhere be blessed with happiness and freedom. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute to that happiness and freedom for all. And gratitude for this practice that came to us from India and brought us together as a community today across the country, maybe even the world. We bow forward and say thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Give yourselves a hand. Whoa!